Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I'm participating in a holiday hop around the house hosted by Nicole North Garden Home and Garden. There's a whole group of us decorating different spaces around our homes. So make sure you check out the description box for a link to your next destination for this holiday hop. So as you can see, we are outside as I chose to decorate my entryway to share with you guys today. So the first thing I'm doing is adding this artificial tree near my front door. It will eventually have lights on it, but that is my husband's department, so he'll take care of that on another day. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in this Christmas sign that I made last year from a wall cling that I picked up at Walmart. I do know that they had them again this year if you're interested, and I do have a tutorial on how I put this together, and I will link that down below. I think it turned out super cute, so I was very excited to get it out again this year. Next to the sign, I added this big bucket full of greenery. The bucket itself is from Walmart last year, and I know they've got something similar this year as well. I like that the container is rather large because um, it looks a little better with the sign next to it. Plus, that way I can make a really big, lush, full um, greenery display with it. To make my greenery display, I clipped a few branches off my pine trees in the backyard, and then I also clipped off some dogwood branches. And then finally, I added some cedar sprigs, which I got from a garland that I picked up at Costco, and I just kind of take it apart and use it all over the house and outside as well. To finish off this display next to the front door, I added a pair of ice skates to the opposite side of the sign. Next, I wanted to decorate this little bench area that I have against the side of the garage wall. So I started by adding this vintage sled that I picked up at a flea market years ago, and I absolutely love it. The colors on it are awesome, and I think it is such a unique looking sled. Then I added this potted tree, which I actually bought this past spring at Home Depot for like $10 and I have been using out on my back patio all summer long and now I've moved it out here to use it for my Christmas decor as well. I added a swag that I made from the cedar branches from that Costco garland onto the sled and I think it looks very cute. To make this swag I took a handful of branches and used some florist wire to wire it all together. Then using my hot glue gun I added some ribbon and then finally I took some baker's twine and I wrapped quite a bit around the stem area. And then on the back side, I added just a little bit of glue to end my string and leave a tail for me to hang up the swag. And I think it turned out really cute. To the bench area itself, I have started by adding this rustic star, which I made last year and I have a tutorial on that, which I'll link down below if you're interested. And then I added a bucket as well. I had some greenery that had berries on it that I have had forever, it seems like. So I decided to use those to fill up the bucket, and I think that looked really nice. To the base of the bucket, I added a few sprigs of these cedar branches from that Costco garland I talked about earlier. And to finish off the bench area, I added this lantern. And I can't forget to use my snowman blow mold, so I added that next to the bench on the opposite side of the sled. Next, I wanted to add a little something across the sidewalk from the bench, so I started off with this wagon. <laughs> this poor wagon only has three wheels, so I use a brick to prop it up, and most people don't even notice. To start filling up the wagon, I took some cedar branches from the garland and started placing it on one end of the wagon, making sure that the edges filled over the side. Once I had a base row of branches laid out the way I wanted them to be, I added another layer on top to give it a little more fullness. Then I added a lantern to the wagon as well. Then 
And finally, I added a pair of ice skates to the wagon as well. These were sitting by the Santa originally, and I switched them out for a larger pair so I could put the smaller pair in the wagon. And I think it looks so cute. I had another smaller size snowman blow mold, so I decided to add that right in front of the Christmas tree. I think that'll look cute all lit up at night. And then finally, I added a swag to this post by the front door. And I made this one the same way I did for the one on the sled. And with that done, I feel like this area is complete and I'm really liking how it turned out. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing. Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holidays will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true the love i live the dream i knew this christmas i only wanna be close to you If you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel and become part of my YouTube family. Also, if you haven't followed me over on Instagram yet, I'm over there most days if you'd like to come connect with me over there. I'd also like to remind you that my Christmas home tour is coming up this coming Friday, which is December 4th, if you'd like to see how I've decorated the rest of my house for this holiday season. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Now make sure you check out the link in the description box and go over to the next video in today's holiday hop around the house. And thanks to Nicole North Garden Home and Garden for hosting today's collab. Thanks so much guys and I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye now.